Each time one of your assets calls into our monitoring center, a record is created in our database. You can view these records by looking at the call history report. Let's, let's imagine you have an asset and you're suspicious that it might be calling out of band occasionally. Let's run the call history report and take a look and see if we can find that machine. I'm going to select the username and I'm going to enter in part of the username of the, of the user you suspect is calling out of band. I'm going to click show results. We see that there's been two calls within the date range selected and that looks okay, but if I take the date range back to the beginning of the month and run the report again, we might see some additional data. As the report loads, we can indeed see that a couple times in the month, this machine, which isn't supposed to leave the office, has called in from a different IP range. And if I drill down on that IP range and do an Aaron Who is lookup, it should tell me where that machine is calling from. As I suspected, it's calling from the local cable provider, which suggests to me that this employee is taking this machine home on the weekends. You could then talk to this employee and suggest that this is outside of your policies. With your assets calling in daily, another attribute you can track is computer drift. An example of computer drift might be an asset moving from the marketing department to the sales department to the finance department. That might be perfectly fine, but on the other hand, the asset might have data that may not belong in a different department. Let's have a look at the computer drift report. Drift can be tracked by computer name or by or by username. If a computer's name has changed, it might suggest that the computer has drifted somewhere where it doesn't belong. I'll pick a date in the past so we can see if there are any machines that meet this condition. And as we can see, two machines have had their computer names changed recently. You may want to go track these machines down and make sure they haven't turned up in a place where they don't belong. One of the challenges that faces asset managers is tracking leased computers to ensure they're returned when they're due back. We have a report to make that easy for you, the Lease Completion Report. Let's open the report and see if any computers are overdue. I'll pick a date a few months ago, run the report. It'll query the database and tell us that this particular computer was due back 53 days ago. It's time to find where this computer is and return it to the leasing company. By clicking on the ESN, I can run the computer summary, see who it's assigned to, where it's calling in from, and in what department it's located. If your assets have supported hardware, you can also view geolocation reports for your computers. Let's take a look at the computer location report. This report provides data on the physical location of your assets on their last agent call. As you can see, this asset is obviously in the downtown core, but these two assets are out of the office and it appears they might even be on a boat. This might indicate to you that something suspicious is happening with these assets and you may wish to investigate. In addition to viewing the locations of multiple assets on their last agent call, you can also view the location history of a specific asset. Let's take a look at that report. I'm going to choose a specific computer from my list of computers and I'm going to take the date range back a little bit and I'm going to run the report. As you can see, this particular asset has mostly been in the downtown core, but at some point it journeyed out into the suburbs. This may be an indication that something suspicious has happened with this asset and you may wish to ask the owner what's going on. If you've had a computer stolen, and you want to get a recovery team working for you, you can use Customer Center to report a theft. I'll click on Theft Reporting and that'll take us to the Theft Summary homepage. You can view the status of existing theft reports you may have filed, or you can click Make a New Theft Report and File a New Theft Report. Click the Choose button to select the computer, and then enter information about the details of theft the day it was stolen, the victim's name, address, city of theft, the police information, which police officer you're working with, and uh, which police department and precinct number, and information about the individual filing the report. Once you click send this report, the report will be passed off to a recovery team and they'll start the process of getting your computer back. If you have an asset lost or stolen, you may be concerned about the data on that computer. You can use Data Delete to wipe that data off, ensuring that it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Let's click Data Delete 
and request data delete to go to the request data delete screen. The first thing you do is select a reason for the data delete. I'm going to pick other. I'm then going to choose my specific computer that I've lost or had stolen. I'll then select the type of data delete I want to perform. Let's imagine that I want to delete all the Microsoft Word documents off of this computer. So I'll pick that specific policy. I'll agree to the data delete authorization contract. Click that I accept the agreement. Enter my name, phone number, and email address. I'll click set data delete. I'll be prompted for some additional password attributes and then the data delete will be set. The next time this computer calls in, all the Word documents on the computer will be wiped.